Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, we've been battling this unusual cold for the last week or so, and we have a couple of days to go before we turn the corner. You're looking at our Muscle Shoals Tower camera right now from the Way 31 Sky Camera Network, and 37 degrees, very chilly. Our winds are out of the north about three miles per hour, so that's giving us a slight wind chill. 39 Gunnersville. The 40, uh, 35 Decatur and 37 Muscle Shoals. In all, though, these temperatures are going to drop sub-freezing. We're already seeing 32 for Fort Payne and for Lawrenceburg at this hour. The rest of us are going to follow suit. One thing that the clouds above us right now are not going to bring is rain. We will stay dry on our Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And although you'll see some clouds from time to time in the afternoon on Saturday, not tracking any weekend rain. That does change, though, when we move into next week. We have an opportunity to dampen at least a portion of your Thanksgiving Day festivities. For us for right now, though, we could definitely use the rain. The tan shaded areas are in a moderate drought. We're abnormally dry where you see the yellows popping up. So all of the region could do with a little bit of rain. Hopefully we'll get at least some of that done on Wednesday and Thursday. 25 when you wake up tomorrow morning, there will still be a few lingering clouds early in the morning, but we'll break out some sunshine into the afternoon for your Saturday forecast over although it is going to be a chilly start. If you have those early morning dog walking duties bundle up, we're still solidly in these 20s until after 7 o'clock. And then as we move on into the afternoon, we'll get that sunshine in and at least bump our temperatures up into the 40s. Radar, future radars coming in clear at 7 a.m., showing us a few clouds by the afternoon and evening hours, but again, no rain. We're quiet and calm on Sunday morning as you head out to those Sunday services. But in the afternoon on Sunday, a few passing clouds, mainly across some of our southern counties, will be possible. I think most of the clouds stay away until Monday. And then once we get into Tuesday's forecast and beyond, we're tracking some rain chances. I think our best opportunity for rain will be on Wednesday. Some of us can see up to about a quarter of an inch across the region. But the biggest weather story long term in the next seven days is that we will eventually warm up. It's going to be chilly for the weekend. But by the time we get to Tuesday and getaway day on Wednesday, we are back near 60 degrees. So hang on for that chilly morning start and a cold day on both Saturday, 49 degrees, Sunday, 45 degrees, and then we turn the corner. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the warm-up begins. The rain arrives by Wednesday night. Stay with us. We'll be right back.